Hello everybody and welcome to Andros Amusement Academy. Thank you for coming by today. I uh, apologize for the late start. Uh, usually we start this at 2 p.m. but um, the Formula One race went really long today so I um, wasn't going to miss that. So we're going to start a little bit later. We'll see how late we go but um, I think we'll be back next week as well. So <clears throat> we're going to try and stream every weekend up to uh, up till Christmas time. So uh, welcome in everybody. Um, I saw Lyser, saw Jmorph already, so hello, hello. Thank you for coming by. Uh, hey, Jukani, welcome. First time catching a live stream? Well, welcome in. So, uh, since this is your first time, uh, I am Brian Andrelzik. I am a real-life theme park designer um, who likes to play RCT and Parkitect and all these sorts of games and build them in kind of a realistic fashion. So, um, I like to kind of teach how to do that. Typically, Androsic Amusement Academy had been pick nine coasters and uh, kind of build realistic layouts with them and kind of talk about the ride history and things like that. But it was suggested a month or two back that um, maybe we ought to expand that out and build a park and kind of teach more details beyond just uh, that. So that's just what we've been doing. Uh, so here we are, actually. Uh, this is our... A little park that we've started. We're two streams into this now. Um, and obviously with custom scenery and things like that, this is going to take a fair bit longer than um, no custom scenery uh, streams that you may have seen. So um, we're going to take our time. We're going to go pretty slow, but uh, that's plenty of time for good conversation, suggestions, and um, you know maybe some tips and tricks uh, if you're uh, looking for something like that. So... Um, let's take a look at what we've done so far. Um, the very first stream we made this wooden coaster, um, and this is a, uh, this is broken down actually, let's fix that. Um, this is a wooden coaster based on uh, Raven at Holiday World, uh, the uh, CCI coaster from 1995 over there. Um, so we um, kind of mixed a little bit of Raven, a little bit of Legend, and some other coasters in there. Um, the transfer track being after the station, something a little bit more unique. Um, and then we're using the terrain um, a little bit to our advantage. Not not a super huge amount of terrain, but just enough to make it interesting. Uh, we've got this sort of iconic turnaround drop over the water here at the far turnaround. I've got this flat bit after the first drop that I would like to put a tunnel over eventually. Um, <clears throat> but I haven't done it quite yet. So we weren't quite sure what we wanted to do as far as theme goes. Um, we had talked initially about um, Holiday World being that this is where this park is based, or this coaster was based off of, and this you know, at Holiday World is the Raven, so it's in the Halloween-themed section of the park. So initially I was just going to kind of rip off that and do so sort of holiday themes and things like that, but um, we decided we'd be a little more unique. Oh yeah, Drip Portal, welcome! Well, thanks for stopping by at the very least, but um, if I'm still going when you're done, maybe you can stop on in. But uh, thanks for stopping by. So we we took the idea of the sort of Halloween theme and said, okay, why don't we make this sort of a, we'll call it the spooky area. And, um, and we said, okay, why don't we do um, Colonial America? And this is the area themed to Salem, Massachusetts. This is like the Salem Witch Trials. So it's still sort of our spooky area, but we're going for more of a unique theme. So at the moment, kind of sort of right around here over to maybe this carousel. I'm not sure if it's included or not. Um, <clears throat> this is our kind of Salem area. So we, we set this out the other week, um, built a couple of different areas, set out some spaces for buildings and things like that and then actually off stream uh afterwards i built this uh church and a little graveyard here um, and then put our queue together um <clears throat> so added some more different um uh, uh, textures here changed up the textures on this back uh maintenance building um just helped it out a little bit more unique uh, as far as that goes get ourselves started as far as architecture goes as well and um, get going as far as um, the flavor of the area, I would say. So we'll probably try and fill in some of these buildings today. Um, I've got some reference images pulled up that we'll take a look at and see what might be the best option. Um, we've got our entrance area coming in from this side, so we're not really sure where this is going to land, but 
coming in this way we know we have a train station here right at the front uh, i did complete the loop but there's there's really no rhyme or reason to this particular area as it stands right now we can adjust that all as it goes along um we do have our um little bridge here that crosses over and um we're thinking probably an area right here an entrance area probably an area towards the back here maybe and then maybe another one back here so kind of trying to think through some themes um we've got our um salem area then i want sort of a uh colonial frontier uh which i kind of see as maybe the back area here so sort of forts maybe kind of pushing towards the midwest and into we'll call it the wilderness of the time so thinking about that um thinking about a um colonial sort of industrial so maybe mining something like that i don't want to necessarily go straight on like the mine mine town type route because i feel like that's a little bit of an easy button um, so maybe we'll figure out something there and then um also a you know, harbor town so maybe it's boston or something like that so uh, kind of looking at that over here potentially and then our entry area which is just sort of like a colonial um maybe like independence village or something like that where it's got a lot of the kind of <clears throat> flags and banners and things like that uh up and about so I need to figure out how that stays different enough from the harbor area but I think we'll, we'll get to that so we've got a lot going on here uh, and just kind of trying to build out the various spaces we did start to go heavy on our foliage and landscaping we picked a good selection of landscape over here um, the nice thing now being that we have the object limit gone um, as far as object selection goes, we can pick a lot more stuff than we would have before. So that's a benefit um, as well. Helps us get a little more going on uh, for the, the whole space. Um, so I think, um, I think I'm going to close out the Salem area here, almost right as you cross the, um, cross the train tracks here. So it's sort of, more limited to just this spot because i kind of like to do this carousel maybe as like uh paul revere's ride or something like that just sort of almost a standalone ornate kind of thing over this way oh, hey coffee welcome thanks for stopping by so we'll see how we want to land on that one um i think first of all we we kind of figured out whether we wanted these like awnings coming off of the sides um and we did start in that direction but uh, hadn't quite figured out where that was going to land um, but I did start turning into uh, these different the uh, we'll call it the spooky fence because that's sort of what it was initially but I don't think it's just ornate I think it just looks nice oh, hey Dante Nathaniel welcome welcome thank you for stopping by how are you this afternoon you, you all guys are having a nice afternoon a good Sunday <clears throat> I had initially hoped to stream yesterday but I uh, kind of ran out of time for that one Hey Belgian guy, and back rack, welcome. Oh, everybody's coming by. Thank you. Glad to see you all out and about. We've been using this rock wall over here as kind of a base uh, for the the architecture and trying to look at kind of overall um, materiality of the various spaces. So we have this sort of um, kind of detailed, a little bit two toned rock wall from Liam. And then we have this board and batten um, from MK98. And then we've got the tile roofs as well, um, which are probably going to be useful um, for all of that. Um, well, thank you. I'm actually pretty happy with how the station building turned out. It's, it's simple, but I think it, it works pretty well. And we can come back and certainly add some details to it here at, uh, at a later time, too, because I do want to come back and layer in some of the extra details. Um, I think there's some lamps and lighting that we can do. Um, we, we're going to get those. Um, the, there's a Frontierland lamp at one point also. But, uh, we'll find something here. So plans for today um, is 
to hopefully expand out a little bit of the Salem area, maybe do some other architecture. I've got some stuff pulled up so we can potentially look at some options for buildings here. Um, kind of talk about how we want to do this, kind of how detailed we want to make it. So that that kind of became one of the other questions is how how does this land want to be? So you'll notice we've got this sort of concrete slash asphalt tarmac, whatever pathway. Uh, you know, if we're being super realistic here, as far as time period goes, Salem was a lot of dirt roads, things like that. I don't really want to go dirt pathway because that's, you know, a little bit almost too much. So I think that the balance here, we're going to call it sort of semi-themed or, or at least lightly themed, where all of our buildings are going to have a theme, but they're not going to be so heavy that it's um, it, it's going to kind of go to that level. So we're not talking Disney level theming. We're not talking universal level. Um, <clears throat> we're probably, we'll call it Dollywood light, maybe. So a little less than, say, Hershend is going to do at, at Dollywood. Um so things that you can see your back areas, you can see your your various bits and pieces, um, but it's not going to be so so heavy that we're we're just doing this like total totality of theming. Uh, yeah, not at all like you're doing Belgian guy. You got a pretty cool project going on there. Um, so we have our theater space here. We have our ride space here. We've got the um, restroom building here. And then I see this as sort of two gift shop buildings, maybe one gift shop actually, and then one sort of seating area slash maybe a little cart for food, and then a gift shop building over here. So trying to balance it out, make sure that we have enough um, variety of things uh, for our different areas, and then it's all sort of tied together properly. Um, <clears throat> just making sure we got our space just right. Uh, we are carrying this fence throughout the space just to help it look a little nicer um, throughout the whole thing. But let's um, see what else we've got here. So we have our lights. I know I had, there was a Frontierland lamp, I think. It might have been a wall piece, actually. Mm, maybe not. Back on. So I did think about a haunted house also, and seeing what we could do with with that. There's not oh that's too far. There's not space here per se, but there is a potential for space here. I'm a little worried about the overall show building size, so I I kind of thought maybe. We'll save the um, save the haunted house for um, some of the other areas where we can hide it a little better. Um, I mean, unfortunately, I didn't do quite the best job of saving or setting up some of these areas because I, I would put it on the front side here as you transition into the space. But I want the uh, church here to be sort of that primary deal as you're walking in. You see the sort of spooky church on the top of the hill and then, then you're immersed into the area. So I think if I did it, it would be here, but I'm not quite convinced that I'm going to fit it there um, just yet. So we'll, we'll see where we land. Yes, the, the weeding of the area, especially if you, uh, if you listen to enough Silverette, you'll hear that um, plenty and plenty of times. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I think we'll, we'll kind of stick with, with that a little bit. I really want to find this lamp object while I'm thinking about it. Just get back to this. Uh, let's see here. I think it was Frontierland. There it is. Frontierland. Uh, it was called a lantern. Because I think. Oh, 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 oh. We get control of our zoom. All sorts of weird, uh, weird things like that. How those terms and all that come to be. Uh, okay. So we can color this, which is nice. We're gonna color the top piece black, this piece yellow, and then this lets us get a little bit more detail. There we go. 
can't really even see that side, so that's not really a problem. Um, don't quite have to worry about lighting, night lighting as in Parkitect, which is fine with me. Um, I am still getting back used to using these controls again <laughs> versus after how I was going in Parkitect. Um, let's look at some architecture. So as we move across here, um, and take a look. So Google um, Images is your friend when it comes to this sort of thing. Um, and when I think of Salem Colonial, I do tend to, tend to think of kind of Georgian style houses, um, the board and batten type things, steep roofs because of the snow up there. So you're getting a lot of this sort of thing um, potentially. Um, I do like the sort of darker colors with the lighter trim. Um, I think this one to me stands out a lot better than the white one over here. But potentially if we have dark landscaping, we want the rest of it to pop. But this is very cool. So John Ward House uh, here. Um, now the question being is how close to the time period are they? Uh, let's see here. Version, so... This is around the right time frame as well for sale. I'm just making sure that we're not going to build something that's super modern comparatively. Uh, but a pretty nice, well, here we have the, the overhang, which is pretty distinctive uh, as far as that goes. And then um, we'll have to sort of theme parkify the building a little bit. <clears throat> is um, have some larger doors potentially some larger windows and things like that, especially since you don't usually see residential buildings done for, um, you don't usually see residential buildings done for uh, buildings and theme parks, I suppose. So we're just transitioning it a little bit. Uh, here's uh, Moravian, kind of nice. Oh, that's Salem, North Carolina. He was, See more park builds. Yeah, you know, it, it's one of those things that I I think it's um, more rides ought to end through the gift shop, but I think a lot of times you just don't think about it. Um, <clears throat> I, I've had this idea in my head, and I don't know if it could ever be implemented in, like, Parkitect or RCT or whatever, but I think it would be really cool to be able to have a create gift shops and or restaurants set up in the way that you have a a point of sale counter um for either ordering for a restaurant for example or like a gift shop where you could check out um or you could purchase your your things that you would buy and then have a certain set of um say clothing racks or just different marketing kind of different like pieces and parts around a gift shop that you would scatter around and then you basically link those to the point of sale kiosk and then that whole thing creates itself as a gift shop so the guests would go in there could visit any one of those racks which would operate sort of like a um like a, a shop or a stall <clears throat> and then once they're done they go to the point of sale counter stop there for a second and that's where you see the transaction happen where the actual purchase happens and they walk off but it'll be it would be kind of nice to be able to actually make like a shoppable gift shop rather than just a single walk up and buy it point of sale thing which is what we do now where we you know build an actual gift shop then hide one of these guys inside make it invisible and leave it at that thinking aloud mostly but i think that would be kind of fun to to have as an option i've always wanted to see that in in a game um I figured Planet Coaster might be the first one to try it like that, but I have yet to um, kind of see what's going on there. Um, okay, so I have some other nice buildings here, pretty simple overall. So really what we're talking here is kind of siding, talking um, generally darker type colors, smaller windows, steep roofs, and that is about it. So... See what we can do with that. And very few of these had actual like foundations per se, but some of them would. Uh, all right, let's. Um, I feel like our 
this is going to be sort of our main building. Um, although I want to start back at the restrooms, I think, just because we'll, we'll get something a little smaller. So, um, see how how this goes. Have all the uh, all the other pieces now, which is interesting. I don't have RCT one tied to this, so I. I guess those are automatic now. Interesting. Uh, okay, so we want some kind of uh, some kind of a base. And maybe we don't actually have a real base here. We'll see how it turns out. Um, we do want this board and batten. It will be really nice to have kind of darker colors for some of these things because I I think one of my buildings wants to be this blue color. Um, I would like to have more of like a steel gray uh, perhaps, but we're not we're not going to get to that. Um, and I don't want to do everything in brown because we need to at least theme parkify that in some way um, so it's not quite as drab. Um, we'll call this one maybe gets red. That could be a cool concept there with uh, something that you could collect and uh, or, or target to different areas like it would be neat to be able to sell different merchandise at different locations things like that I mean again from an RCT standpoint where you really don't see the merchandise it doesn't make a huge huge difference but it would be kind of fun in general I think to have those sorts of, of options um, here we want to do same color as we're doing over here Of the thickness, okay. Um, peeking back out of my space right now. <clears throat> hmm. Ideally, the door gets skinnied up just a little bit, but we're probably okay without doing that. And then we want shingle roof um, of some kind. It Maybe this kind? Oh, this is a little steep, I think. That's a lot steep, because it doesn't... We're talking building height. We don't want it to be... No, oddly, it is about the same height as the building itself, but... Um... Do steep Spanish roofs exist? Let's just type steep and see what we end up with. Okay, so we have the shingled roof, which I'm not sure I've ever really liked as far as the overall look goes. Uh, the texture was always a little weird to me. Pattern roof, shingle roof. Steep thatch, steep stairs. Okay, let's try a roof just on its own, see what we have. A lot of this is just trying to find the right find the right option. See what the best look is. I could go corrugated metal depending on how all we want to go with it. These castle roofs could be could be what we go for if we can find some good options with it. For a lot of the scenery, I'm looking to make sure that the texture is still kind of sort of matching and it's a good mix of um, a good mix of texture, but also still being somewhat unique. Um, so maybe Fish's Roof is the way to go. Um, hey, Extreme. Welcome. How are you today? It is Object Hunt. It's Object Hunt right now. What a roof quarter. I'm trying to think what the rest of those are called. Um, because that may be 
sort of where we land as far as this goes. We're trying to find a, a decent roof for this building here. And um, I would like steep Spanish roofs, but I don't know if those exist. Um, so I'm trying to think, what do you feel about the colorable shake roof here? Do you think it's too too much as far as um, as far as uh, just overall look goes? Okay, well, let's look for that, too. Let's see what the Spanish tile ones do. AVLs are usually down at the bottom. Spanish tile roof. We got the too high. I don't have further now. Is the... Let's see if the shake roof is the same. This one versus... AVLs. Okay, so same exact texture, but the edge texture is different. The edge texture is like a brick on this one. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking for just a little bit steeper. Um, I think we're going to try this and see how it goes. Um, and... The wooden thatch roof. Okay, let me check that real quick. Uh, thatch is probably less. Okay. Yeah, I think the texture might be a little bit off because we, we are looking for shingle, but we'll see how this comes together. Clearances are weird on that one. Okay. I'm thinking this feels too tall at six high, but what are we at here? So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, what was this one? This is MG shake colorful. Let's see if we can get the one shy of that and bring it. Down. Okay, so AVL, get rid of that so we don't, even though we can take all the object pieces now, we might as well be a little more efficient with it. Okay, MG Shake Roof. That's one steeper, that's maybe one less. There we go, here's the right, here's the middle ground. That looks a little more in scale to me. So let's stick with this. Once we finish with the area, we can go back in there and just remove all the objects we haven't necessarily used. Um, what I do want to do is make sure that all of these textures we can screen with some uh, trim pieces. So I, I know that we do have trim pieces of a certain height, so those should work just fine. We do have the one by here. Now I am fully aware that I make my buildings taller than deep scale. Um, so consider here where four or five height plus this uh, overhang here, so probably six. So that's really what we're doing as, as far as this elevation goes also, um, which not totally awful, but 
uh, just something to consider as you're building if you if you think it might be too much um, you can always go down a little bit but I tend to I tend to scale larger than not mostly because it, it gives me the ability to do more things with it um, and I kind of like that So it's a little shed on the back of this thing. Okay, so let's figure out now what the front of this gets. Um, with this kind of darker texture, it all sort of blends together, which I, I kind of like. Uh, let's grab that. With the objects as they are now, I can actually do interiors for these buildings now again, but I'm not going to start there just yet. That may be something we could do a little later, but I do think in interiors are fun if you have the time because it makes you think a little more about the um, what you're doing with the space. I'll try the recolored ones there. Let's get the threes. Yeah. Amazing having <laughs> the new ability to take so many different objects that's one high that's a five we want a four i just need to see where they all get loaded into by doing this it helps screen just a little bit from our um the two different textures here that we have on the wall i'm not super bothered by it um, especially when you angle here because you can't really see it so well so it doesn't bother me so hard but it i like the trim just to help screen it a little bit that. And then I think I might have grabbed half trim. Maybe not. Okay, well, that's all right. What we do want to do here is find a door. We'll give ourselves a small little back of house area here. And what we'll do here is set a couple things. So we'll set a compressor for this ride. Um, so our, our ride little hut is going to be back here. Um, we'll set um, cleaning stuff perhaps I don't think we need a dumpster back here but at least a, a storage rack just trying to maximize the use of our our space here this is still a very small building to peep scale so I want to come back and Look at some windows. Um, let's I keep that red. Get the idea of it flaring a little bit like that. These are quarter. This is. <clears throat> this window might be better if it was just a little meteor. Okay. The 
this is likely going to be too tall. We don't want that. Could potentially double stack some of these just slightly off from where I wanted it to be. This is, uh, which is funny, I, I always have problems finding quarter tile windows when it comes down to it, but in right now what I'm actually wanting um, regular size, it's a little bit of a pain to find it. me that sits a little bit low compared to where the window itself is so i'm not the biggest fan of how that sits there we go i think actually that that window is nicer the the shutters feel a little gigantic perhaps but we'll think about that a little more but yeah, I think it's turned out to be a nice little, little barn or cottage or something. And we can give it a little bit of narrowness to this opening by bumping it out. So. Keep forgetting those are too high. And then we'll do, do that when it brings the height down just, just a little bit. Um, and then inside, we want to do a bit of theming as far as this goes. Um, I'm going to keep the foundation where it is. And then we'll take a door. I like this uh, sort of tan that we're using on some of the other other ones here. Um, and now I can close this. One here. For have too many bathrooms. So the second one here. Okay, now theoretically, check the connections here. Okay, now they should go through the various doors into the different restrooms, which is what we wanted. So we have a nice little vestibule inside, and we have kind of how that's set up. Um, we could always come back through and do a little bit of texturing too for the ground. Oh, how much does that stand out? Versus this. Not too bad. I feel like color boxes could be the right touch for this also. Um, even though it is sort of a foreboding theme, it does not mean it has to be devoid of life to any extent. So we can put those there. So a little bit taller maybe than we would typically go, but we are going to go a fair bit higher over here. Uh, our, our limit here, as far as I'm concerned, is basically this, this, because I don't want to totally block the entrance from this side. I like the idea of being able to have some, some level of view to that whole space. So that one is kind of limited height-wise, and um, we'll 
all that all that a day. Now, Lanto said we might not throw some dormers and things in here a little bit later. Um, that could be an option. Uh, just depending on how glitchy it wants to get. I think that is going to actually get pretty glitchy, but... Yeah. Well, not required, but we'll maybe give that another try later. I don't quite like the way that red is peeking through, so maybe I can give this uh from piece there. That works well. This is glitching just ever so slightly. There it is. Inside corner piece of that roof. Yeah, actually, that could be. Um, what was this? The four height, I think. I'll give it a try, see what it looks like. Okay, so I think it would have been that one there. We can always go higher up as well and do on sort of the upper side, perhaps. Well, oh, that's much too large. Must have picked the wrong one. Oops. And if you're new to custom scenery, by just watching this whole Thing unfold you can kind of get an understanding as to why this kind of stuff takes so long um this is a lot of back and forth and trying to pick pick what you want and get the right thing and um there are certainly people as in like hydro portal who can do this at lightning pace and doesn't have to worry about any of this but i am not one of those people so it's um it's a little limited on what i can do um, i actually don't mind that at all um, if we get a little window up in here, that could look okay. Hey, Mulder. Yeah, we can give that a try. Let's, um, let's see how that looks. First of all, trying to get my textures right. Necessarily want to go with the same one. We'll stick with that. Okay. All right. So brown. What kind of brown are you thinking? Are you thinking the? You said dark brown. So we've got the the really dark brown, flat brown, the tan, and then this like I don't know what we want to call this. The cream maybe. So we can do this. That's one thought. We can do, there's, there's your bottom left brown. We can do this, which I'm actually kind of liking a little better as a transition, or the, um, the color differences are a little more muted. I feel like it kind of gives the same color range without being too much, and it doesn't, doesn't look bad at all. How do we how do we feel about that? What does everybody think? Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Less contrast is gonna be better for us overall. So we're we're gonna make the call and do that one actually. Good suggestion. And that sort of leads to one of those never be satisfied with your colors. Uh, always be willing to change them up, especially e even if you don't really think that they're messed up. Um, that's how I tend to get the most color out of my buildings um, is when I don't think that I want to change it. And then I 
actually do, and it, it looks way better. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and, and you're right, Extreme. I think you, we need to worry about, with with these sorts of, of things. You really need to worry about what that overall um, contrast looks like. Because we have nothing in this area of high contrast throughout this whole space, uh, but that that could be a lot if it if it gets to that point. Um, okay, so let's grab our half tile. We're going to make a shadow box gate, uh, just not that way because that's how the guests see in. Okay, so that is a shadow box gate, basically where it's a um, sort of back and uh, back and forth little solemn there. Not actually a gate, but it's it's the way that you block back of house for guests. Um, so we'll leave that as it is, um, and uh, let's see. There's. Our little hut building here that we said we were going to place, and then, um, like I said earlier, I wanted to put the little compressor or um, kind of shed building here. Um, and maybe that's going to be best off the tile. So it might be best to do that as like that perhaps well that's awfully big we might do it a little smaller kind of bad all these people getting stuck but there's 837 guests in here who are doing pretty much nothing they're riding this wooden coaster they're eating those shops that we put in doing this train and then um riding the half-finished carousel we're not we're not doing them a whole lot of favors here as far as just overall enjoyment goes. Walk down this. Okay. There's step one. Um next up potentially is this pavilion here where we had talked about doing some kind of like a stage show um, with our space here. So the question being, what is that? What does that show look like, and how does it form up? Because I would assume we would have some kind of a uh, stage, perhaps, and then a covering over top of it. So I kind of look at this as a wood stage, maybe. So something something along the lines of this, and then we're going to have to figure out diagonal seats as well. Um, I, I think of it largely as just kind of like long wood benches. Um, and then we could cover it with some kind of a uh, awning. There's no, no real requirement to do that. Hmm. See how this shapes up. Because I don't really see this as a terribly big thing, but I do see it as having at least a little bit of a backstage, like green room type area, so that the employees could get get ready. Um, we've got our landscape coming down through here. I've got an intentional gap in the landscape here so that the guests from the queue can see up the lift hill. And then also from down here in the main plaza, you can also see up as the lift is going in that direction. Uh, so that's that's intentional, but not to say that we can't do a little bit of lower stuff here. Let's uh, go back and see. See what the internet has to say. Type out some different search features here. So Salem, Massachusetts, Colonial Pavilion. Um, that's kind of nice. 
That was like, I like the little turret tower on the side of that. Maybe worth putting a little well in here, so let's mark that one for later, perhaps. Let me close out some of these other ones. I like this brick. That's a good color option. The last time we were on stream, Belgian guys sent me a good um, a good draw uh, cover bridge that we'll want to do potentially for the the bridge we have across the lake right now. There's also this kind of big uh, concrete tower. It doesn't really feel it, th this doesn't feel like the right kind of thing for this because I'm not really seeing the concrete. It seems a little heavy. Perhaps compared to, um, yeah, too too much stone, too much concrete. Um, well, this maybe I do kind of like how that building's right on it. There's no way I'm doing an onion dome um, on, or I guess that's not an onion dome, but it's sort of kind of similar. Um, that's more. I feel like that's almost more theater in the round than a kind of in line sort of thing, which may not be a bad idea, depending on how we set that up. Let's uh, see what that could look like. We went in that direction. Back. I did not mean to take it out. Um, okay, so that could stretch across here, kind of wrap itself around to this side. Ourselves nice and clean underneath as we always do. Rework this briefly. It's almost feeling a little bit too too big, maybe. I don't know. Totally satisfied with that just yet, but don't hate it either. But the billion's a heck of a lot chunkier than I think I was anticipating also. Yeah, sorry, I was just reading your, your message. I, I think a little bandstand of sorts is sort of where we're trying to head. Um, what I'm not sure if I'm doing correctly or not is forming it up, kind of how I'm envisioning it in my head. Um, I think we're getting a little bit closer, maybe, as far as this goes. Um, and, Mulder, to your point, I think... Um, I think a little planter on the backside would probably not be a bad idea either. But then this gives us, if we set this up like this, because this sits far enough front that I'm probably okay with how far back we are. Because I would probably take here and say, Mm 
maybe we even wrap around the side here and we have that high So, far as this goes, maybe we go with the, let me see if there's diagonal Spanish tile, there must be. Um, like something ABL might have done. Well, good to know that there is diagonal versions of that shake. The problem is I can't let myself get too excited about the overall format here because I could very easily fill that 2000 objects like right now with things that I would legitimately use. Um, of course, Tulsa Mayor did them. <sighs> Weird. You do two keywords without them having to bring out oh, here it is. Odd row. Those are nice. Okay. Stream being the object master once again, as far as that goes. All right, so what am I looking at here? That's an interesting one. Oh, edge pieces. I see, I see. Ah, it's about lining it up. Okay, so you have to alternate. Ooh, complicated. Okay. Not a problem, though. Two, three, four, five, maybe? Because I think I want to do a trim piece on it. We'll see if this is too big or not. That one. All right. okay. uh, this is just the standard English, well, not standard English palette. This is English palette with additional gray. Uh, it's one swag had made for me. Um, or, or, well, actually for us, when we did uh, the DK contest last January. Um, so it's got the standard colors from English palette, but it also has this uh, additional darker gray uh, in here. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's out. If you go to my profile on New Element at Cedar Point 6, um, download the uh, Destiny of Kalfu um, uh, map. I think it should be one of the, my most recent releases. And uh, check that out, and that's got this palette in it. I'm trying to think of the, yeah, with the additional gray, because the Washu's well, on palette was, um, had the black in it, the black tile. Which I guess we don't need that anymore, which is kind of nice. Uh, okay, and then let's see if. Um, 
kind of like the idea of doing some kind of a trim piece beyond this, although I don't know if Extreme You May Know, has anybody made any of these? And I'll, I'll take any of the, with the little half trim pieces, has anybody made the diagonal versions of these that fill in that gap? They have, then that sounds like a plan to me. For the shallow or Spanish. What about for just the regular tile ones? Is that a thing yet? I'm not opposed to working with that. I would just, I would like to have some kind of, uh, uh, it should be on your roof tab, roof tab. I didn't remove them. We've got these trim pieces for Spanish, and then these trim for the standard deco. I don't see the diagonal ones. Um, do, do they exist? Like, would I have them? I can search for them if I do. Um, okay. You know what they're called? Yeah, if you could, let me know. And then we can go from there. The center tile? Oh, no. Oh, no. We're not on the center tile. Gosh darn it. <laughs> that sucks. Ah, womp womp. I was really hoping we'd be in the center tile there. Uh, quarter diagonal roof trim. All right. Quarter diagonal roof trim. One and two. And I actually don't mind this being different, especially if we stick with this dark gray only for the fact that it doesn't it, it masks a lot of texture oh look at that it's so nice it's so clean once i paint this now it's so clean all right now we're cruising Oh, well, shoot. No wonder I got Julo there. At least it was not a big one. Always one of the most frustrating things getting caught when you've done a whole bunch of stuff. Do you think Spanish on the straight ones? Okay, let's uh, let's get these in and take a look. Because I was also going to consider putting a trim around it too. Um, so using like the Victorian roof rail or something. And then trimming this out, which means that it's going to give us a little bit more um, dimension uh, between the two. So then it can act as sort of a simple or a... Uh, and a different texture across the thing. Um, I know this exists. I'm sure I've seen it somewhere. I like that fence too. Those. I'm gonna play over under how many, <laughs> how many thousand more objects am I going to add to this park today? Uh, it's gonna be a lot. All right. Am I off of it? Which tile am I on? Okay. Go. This one. 
The problem is this park's still going to take ages to finish. Um, <laughs> so I, I kind of wanted to do a little cupola or something on top of this theater. Um, and my my thought initially went to something like one of these guys, just with just to a point instead. And then I was like, well, I don't think I want to do three different roofs on a single, on a single one. That doesn't feel right. I don't think. I think we may have to come up with something different. Put me in, coach. Hey, come on in. Do some. Suggest some architecture. I'll send you the bench, and you can suggest some, and maybe we'll swap out some here and there. Uh, that's too far front. All right, what do we got on here? Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. So this is what Extreme sent. Uh, this is quite nice. Yeah, and that may be the way to go, is go a little steeper as we go along and then have the the steep roof on top. Um, would you think that it would make sense to um, <laughs> to pitch the uh, um, to pitch this uh, middle one here and then do it again? So basically we would say pitch pitch this guy up and then do a gap and then essentially one one more like this i have picket fences right here you mean these i use those on everything for a long time <laughs> i got away from it i'm guessing the um i'm guessing the steep diagonal does not exist yet on this should if it doesn't I'm making fun of you at all I like my uh oh oh extreme <laughs> there's nothing wrong with the picket fences they are they are a good time if only this was like one steeper, like one taller diagonal or um, pointed roof there. See, this is going to be the problem is we're going to suddenly have so many specific pieces for specific things for every last last piece here and there. Uh, taller and this is through the roof you would say hold on I thought initially I was going too high on this roof and then all of a sudden we're here now where I'm just trying to slam so many objects into this that it's doesn't make sense any longer um okay have uh, access access Could use the trim on the top part to make it look like it's pitching up again. Do that to me again because I'm not following. Top part being these four objects here. Are you saying these types of trim pieces? Make sure I'm understanding you correctly.
Meantime, I like the roof trim. So mirror, mirror the bottom part. Yes, I can do that. Are you thinking way up top or are you thinking down down one? Because I, I was going to do this gap within here, but I was not, was not quite sure how to do that. Yeah, coffee I did. Actually, that was why I was so late starting the stream today because uh, I was watching the race and uh, it was insane. Um, so that's is good. Okay. Let's we'll recolor some of these later, so hang on. Okay. And then what we could also do is come through and yeah, that's uh not the most friendly cue at the moment, I would say. Um, let me do this, and then I'll check how long it is because I'm thinking that's. Gotta be on the on the longer end. I guess when you have nothing else to do aside from this. My goal of this stream was to build another coaster, but I'm not sure we're gonna get to that. I do have another ride in mind that I'd like to build. Um that I think some of you will enjoy because it's unique. Um but let's see what are we at? So station one, 188 people in line. Yikes. Extreme was that what you had in mind? I'm I'm sure it's not what you had in mind, but is that any kind of similar to what you were thinking? Carry this through, and then that was a nice handrail. All of this architecture is turning out a fair bit larger than I expected it to initially, but I think that's okay. We can bring it down a little bit with some landscaping, I think. If it becomes too too big. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think it is either. I would love to have a three high version here at the top, and then also the two high diagonal to fill in this this little this little mid bit right here. Um so change the top section to a so the so this guy gets a three high, and then this guy gets an infill. I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's something for the object requests here later. Perhaps we can fill that in. So it'll be good enough for now. But I do think we can do better, perhaps. Okay, and then let's get. Could go flat top. I do kind of like that trim around the top as as far as 
the whole thing goes, but that's not to say that the rest can't go in a certain way. I don't hate that. Actually kind of looks all right as as far as that goes. So you have the nice the nice slope up and then before you ruin it by going so by not increasing the slope it still works. I don't know what uh, what is what does everybody think what's the vote for this one? Yes, more to the the steep or the flat. I think my my current nod goes to the flat, but I could be convinced otherwise. Do a little bit of trim here. I have an open RCT question. Can you edit the area outside of your park after you have started the park? Um, yeah. Um, if you're so typically, I, we just own all area. But if you're in sandbox mode, you can open up your map and you can uh, actually let's let's de-own say this area here. So now this area here is out side of my park but I can't know why I can build on that. There you go. If I turn off sandbox mode I can no longer build in there. So your your general answer is yes, just enable sandbox mode and then you can. Um but if you want to swap out what you own and what you don't, you can just open up the map with sandbox mode enabled and then just take care of this as far as that goes. Um, but typically uh, we're just going to own all land. Um, so the kind of standard thing for me is you just you click own all land and then you take the whole thing and you, you kind of determine where your park ends and where it doesn't, which is why you're typically going to be building um, kind of the outskirts as well. And I think for me, I enjoy building the outskirts just as much as the park itself in a lot of cases as my last park was quick to, uh, quick to do. Okay, so we'll get this here. So seats, I guess, is going to be the next question. Is what the what is the best uh, seating option for this? Do a park on RCT Classic. Yeah, you should. You should bring it over to uh, to open if you can. Uh, it just has a lot of nice features for you. Um, so it could be could be worth your time. Okay, I am going to go ahead and put in a fence back here. I think it's going to look better. And that will also let us grab uh, what do we want to put perch, maybe. Cool. There you go. That slightly obscures that building, brings the overall elevation down on the thing visually, um, just by putting something slightly taller next to it. Because I, I want the, the overall goal is that this little church is sort of looking down on the village, which is why we have a couple of height difference between the landscape there and then the lower area. I want this coaster to sort of nestle this entire village and then end up kind of looking down on it as well. So and that's kind of why we're wrapping it around here. So I think the, the buildings to the landscape and foliage and everything to the, the coaster is, is working pretty all right so far. Um, we might come back in here and do one set of, of extra battens here for custom supports. We might actually do that on the backside so that we have really interesting... Um, 
pass through on the coaster just to make it a little more interesting uh, but that will be a thing for a later date perhaps okay so flat roof is what won out as far as that goes so then we can go back through here and the rest of this going and I don't think this is going to be the only type of wall that we're going to use here. It can't be. We really need to have variety. But um, we'll go through and add a little bit of this in here. Would the lift ideally need more supporting? Um, maybe a little bit. You probably we probably do one off to the side, um, and that's that's about it. So um, in general, I would say. There, so I'd probably say we're gonna go here, 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 maybe do maybe do this, and then we could also do one. One or two more as it comes through this area here just makes it a little more complicated based on how we do the bridging. Why I typically avoid avoid that one. But what we can do is to make sure that we're we're being as reasonable as we can. So let's go take a look at Raven here. You can see it has a little bit of this uh of these additional battens on here a couple lower corners so we have one extra bent on this uh yeah it's if you hold control actually it, it holds the whole side of the land tile that's a relatively new one that i just found out about maybe a couple months ago oh it's one of those those fun things so yeah if you if you hold down if you hold down control you can get the various land tile on that side if you have a string of landscape let's call it uh 10 and you hold down control you can pick a string like this which is kind of also convenient <clears throat> But anyway, we um, I can go through and mark this down. Okay, so we'll put this as an option for later. There's all sorts of the little landscape tricks that that I've kind of learned and am surprised to still learn that I, I didn't know before. Um, it's always always nice to see those. Uh, let's see what else for. And just for the benefit of, of any of the watchers here in case this is your first time with RCT or you haven't played for a long time or whatever remember the two fundamentals of scenery building the shift key and the control key so in order to raise scenery you use the shift key to raise it up and then once it's up if you want to lock your scenery to that level you mouse over that scenery you hit control and now you can build at that different level. You'll note the white box at the bottom that shows where exactly we are on the ground. Control key is one that I am still surprised people don't know about uh, because it is fundamentally one of the most useful tools in the game. 
So control key is your MVP as far as scenery building goes. Um, so if you don't know that, now you do, um, and we'll make some use of it. Okay, let us continue here. We're gonna grab, let's see here, we'll do a frame with that. Do some scenery bits and pieces, just some theming. Okay, we left this trying to figure out what we were going to do for our <clears throat> um, seating as far as diagonal benches go. Now, I don't mind this sort of idea for the, the regular seat. So these seats be kind of on the orthogonal grid. I'm like, I don't mind that. Question ends up being, what do we do for the rest? Um, so I don't think there's a narrow version of the wood planks that exists. About to find out. Okay, now for that. But we could go the uh, full block. So there's a building block option. Stadium option, which we're not doing a stadium here. It's all flat. So this sort of diagonal mud block sort of thing is maybe where we land on this. Yeah, what did what did you call it? the half plank the the thin diagonal? So is uh, blah, 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 blah. you know what I'm talking about? I have Leon's Legoland because I built on that one. Unless he's added it since then, but um, I mean like this this guy is this these are what you're thinking? So like the smaller ones. Let's try a plank. Plank. No. Half. QHPD one. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess I don't have those. Um, can you send them to me at? some point I would like to use those maybe what we what we do real quick and swap those out instead okay so far as other detailing goes here we definitely want to add in some additional stuff here's that spandrel wall it hides it just exactly, which is not what I wanted. On this, you can only see about a pixel of it, so it really isn't going to do us a whole lot of good. I want some, ideally, I want some deco on there, but not too, too much. Like, I don't want to overdo it. And we don't have wall pieces, so it's going to have to be something with a quarter tile.
kind of see how that all shapes up. Um, isn't quite as neatly done, I would say, as the um, <clears throat> as the one from the image that Extreme sent. So we're lacking in some of those more ornate details, but I feel like maybe Colonial Salem probably didn't have have that. Probably be a little bit simpler. Lance of diagonal beam. Thank you. Right, let's grab this one. Let's grab this one. And what we're going to do is save this for one. There. So used to having the dot dot park files here. Um, all right, and then uh, we're gonna watch the Raven POV while I restart the game and add these in, or this Star Wars something or another. Yep. Do we freeze? Looks like we froze. There we go. Oh, it pauses every time I go away from it. That's that's a lot of crap. All right, well, RCT is restarting now, so we're getting there. Yeah, this is the coaster that I based the uh, coaster off of. Hang on, I'm coming back. Give me one second. Take four B. All right, back that up. <clears throat> so I'm not sure which in in terms of just kind of direction from here uh, goes, but I was considering doing a splash battle in the harbor area. Um, on the other side of the map so i'm thinking that was maybe going to be the option for um later this um this stream if we get to it if we don't maybe next time oh, excuse me yeah, raven's a good coaster though it runs really well a little rough but not too bad they're doing a lot of track work on it here right, lately so it's a good time, but there we go. Thanks to Coaster Force for that video. All right, back to it, and good. Theoretically, have those again. QHPD one. QHPD one. There we go. And two. <clears throat> okay. That's yeah, that was a good good coaster for them. Certainly put put those guys on the map as well. Okay. Wood and wood most likely makes sense. Although it doesn't show up super well on this terrain. Always go the lighter wood, which kind of matches what we've done on the rest of this here.
probably get it in line with this other one. Oh, not that. This way. <clears throat> yeah, they're meant to be seats for the uh, whatever show we're going to put in here. But I might back it up just a little bit more so that I can have sort of an edge. And then we can do the planter from that. It also lets me get a couple more seats in the front there. All right. Uh, okay, heard those. Is in the way. Hey, Motorial, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. How are you today? We are busy building a bandstand of, of sorts, I suppose. <clears throat> Gonna fill in some more space here and see what we can see what we can do. This guy. Oh, how is that? Is it? Uh, I heard it was pretty good. Not one that I've gotten a chance to watch just yet. So we'll set these on posts. Yeah, one of these days I'll have to catch up and watch that among all the other things that I still haven't watched. It's the thinner back trim piece, if I remember right, but we can maybe leave it there. I'm actually going to pull this one out just because I feel like it gives us a little better access. Thank you. All right, so okay. <clears throat> since we did the flat roof on top, well, let's go with flat roof on the side here too. I can never figure out the best way to see it. For whatever reason, OpenGL is finally working for me. It it was terrible before. Like whenever I would hide the uh, hide scenery, it would go down to like two SPS or FPS, and it was just entirely unusable. 
uh, but for whatever reason, it solved itself, and I don't know what happened, or what changed, or anything like that, but it's all of a sudden totally fine, and I am not complaining whatsoever. Yeah, it, uh... Yeah, see, we're still, and we're seeing a little bit of a drop, but we're, st we're I'm still pulling 80, uh, 79 some. Now, granted, when I get to a, um, <clears throat> when I get to a more scenery heavy, um, thing, then I will probably be hurting, but for now, it's working all right. Okay. Let's come transparent completely. Oh, you mean you can't even see where the landscape is? To be honest, I didn't notice that until literally just now. <clears throat> yeah, this also has the super zoom plugin, which I I hated to begin with. But I, I use it way more often than I should, and I don't know, it's just me being old and having <laughs> my my eyes being bad, but half of the time I find myself building like this, and then when I zoom out, I'm like, wow, it's so far away. Like, I think this is this is standard view, and it just seems so, it seems so far away compared to how we've been building. Like, I think my standard now is building at, at this distance. So, no, well. Active at all. I'm old and playing a game from the early uh early two thousands. Alright. So happens to the best of us. Ooh. Let's grab this in tan. Fill in our gaps a little bit. No, I want the Victoria Drew Frail. <sighs> Annoyingly, both of these angles just perfectly block this entire thing. We're going to take this one out temporarily. Yes, I could do that with cutaway. If I would have thought about that. Yes, that is absolutely an option. But the tree has been demolished, so we're done. Coming back, though. I like that tree. <clears throat> that, that type I haven't really used before. I'm very much enjoying the use of it. Oh. Yeah, it's a cutaway tree, more or less. Tree made a sacrifice for all of us. Okay. Bring this back. And then as if my magic tree will return. There we are. I really miss this trim piece. <clears throat> I got it all. Nope. Um... Oh. 
I'm going to add footers to the coaster. I don't know is the short answer. Probably should is the right answer. Want to? Not a, not a chance. I really don't want to do it. Um, so not totally certain where that one's going to land just yet. So we'll see. Um, I'll also add backs to these walkways and all that. But... <clears throat> I don't think so. I don't think really anything besides the lift could be considered too under supported. You could potentially get away with something right here, which we may do, um, which I'll go ahead and mark that for it just to be sure. But I could see us doing some parts and pieces over here, and that's probably it. Because we're so low here, I don't want to do anything for that. Um, I could maybe get away with something here. I would like, I will certainly do something in the water. I don't quite know what the, what the water wants to do there just yet, but. Well, <clears throat> we'll see how that one goes, but this. This will get something over here at some point. We'll have to figure out how we want to. I want to do that. I think we need to figure out too with with this ride what it becomes. Is this a Trabant or a Troika? Um, sorry, I didn't mean Trabant. I meant Troika. Or is it become an octopus ride or what? Because I'm I'm kind of thinking about doing the one from the uh from nippon baseball with the three um circles um okay, let's go take a look at that real quick that may be our best option i don't want to do a teacups just yet because I, I like to cover the teacups as well um and i um I'd, I'd like to keep that for something. I almost, I did think about a teacups in the harbor area for the Boston Tea Party. Um, I thought that would be clever, but we'll we'll see. Okay, let's um, see. This guy was what I was looking at doing. I think is something like like this one. There's a couple of different options you can do, but I think I think this guy might be the better the better bet, perhaps. <clears throat> That's relatively easy to theme and um, put together, and color wise, you can offer a fair bit of different colors as well. Out of curiosity, what do we have here? Sixteen cars, so we have five per. Plus a control car. Okay, that should be pretty easy. And actually, let's just check too and see where that sits on. Wait. Where's my mini coaster? Mini roller coaster. No, nope, not that one. This one. Okay, same. Some sort of deal. <laughs> Save me time later. Mm. So actually, the parachute thing is done. Um, did did you watch the drop tower one that I uh, that I did um, for the Intamin drop tower? It's the same same exact thing. So turn that into eight of them and use the parachutes. Same deal. So it's it's the same where each of them kind of dispatches at a different time. Um, it's you have the the chain lift up, and then it's the free fall down with the brakes at the bottom, 
uh, or breaks the whole way if you want it to slowly go down. Um, but that is really all it comes out to be. So that's uh, thanks to Zarathustra for that one. Uh, okay. So we have two here. We have one, two, three, four here. Have, well, it doesn't matter for the last. So two and four. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. Have a good evening, and uh, thanks for stopping by, as always. Hope to see you next time. Okay. Well, we can go ahead and pack this. Why not? That way we've got a ride that we can fill in and say that we finished something else uh, here. Uh, was this how I wanted it? Yes. So I raised it up right here just so I'm not interfering with the pathway or the train. Um, I'm fully aware that the... Um, does it automatically hide it now? That's cool. Like that. Um, <clears throat> it, uh, it, it's going to be invisible anyway, but it doesn't hurt to just go ahead and take care of it. Okay. Now let's go on out here and split this thing apart. a couple of different ways to do this but one's gonna be the easier all right so it was two we had this and it was all right so that's one two three four one One, two, three, four. Again, doesn't really matter. Okay. All right, so we wanted the bobsled cars for this one. One car train. Sixteen initially. And let's make this relatively easy to figure out by going ahead and painting the cars ahead of time. You know that vehicle one is going to be black because that's going to be the one that goes down to the, not the basement. All right, so we'll do five in red. We'll do Five in purple. And we'll do five. All right, we got red, purple. What do you think? Yellow? We've got a red and a yellow train over here. We could do 
purple. We can do a green potentially. We could do a blue. Do you like this blue? Maybe it gets the blue. Actually, they may not be a bad idea. Let's try that. Let's we'll start with the. Thirteen, fourteen, and then six. A little higher. All right, so I can get rid of two of these, not for any reason other than that I can. Uh, actually, that looks kind of nice. The red, the purple, and the green. Don't need to slow this down. So this method is kind of the standard way of splitting cars for me, and that's how I do a lot of my stuff, including the, um, um, uh, what do we call it, the, um, perfect, no, makes it work really well. Um, this is the way that I will do the um, Condor ride, but it's, um, it's, it's not as a little bit of trial and error. Okay, so the next thing that I need to do is go to YouTube real quick and just confirm which direction a Troika rotates. Okay. You would like to ride along on the Troika official POV, which we're not going to do the whole thing, but... Let's see which way it goes. Okay, so we rotate counterclockwise. And it looks like the ride also rotates counter or clockwise with counterclockwise rotation for the cars. So I think we want the cars, since we can't rotate the whole darn thing, we'll just put the cars on there and we'll rotate them counterclockwise and do that. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Cedar Point. You mean one of uh, Zamperla's um, new things? I have. It's uh, The only challenge that I'm running into for that is that it's really tall because the the smallest i can do is the hang on um the quarter loop so it ends up being really chunky uh where am i what am i doing why is my mind going blank So basically, you end up doing one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you do it kind of this way. It ends up looking a little bit big, but to be honest, you know, the taller unit isn't too bad. The The bigger thing that I have trouble with is that the, the mid section ends up looking really thick. Um, so I might play with it again and see if there's a better way to do that where it doesn't doesn't quite get to that point but it would be a cool one to do and the the real things are kind of mesmerizing to watch um so maybe worth worth checking out um i do i do like the um the the rides are actually a lot of fun in my opinion um okay let's uh delete this so we can get this set up just right okay we said we were going to rotate these Counterclockwise. Let's 
So let's get ourselves a mouse. Okay, so we're going counterclockwise, but we also need to back into this because uh, that's just how it's gone. Uh, let's take this mini coaster and move him to Steel Wild Mouse as well. Um, oh, hang on, let's first go back to. Mini coaster, and then we'll take this. Now we'll turn it into a wild mouse so I can place this piece right here. We are going to be backing into this, so I need to go in this direction. There's one. to use the S bend. I like the mini coaster track for whatever reason. I just like using it for um, doing hacks and it's great except for instances like this where you wanted to have something different. Okay. This Okay. And go back to Steel Wild Mouse here in the corner. There we go. Since I can have however many of these that I want now, we're going to grab a different coaster here for the start so that I can just make this invisible with. Um, With different pieces or the null objects rather than making it invisible because otherwise it'll sink down. I really don't want to do that. Problem is now I gotta recolor all those pieces. Crap. I forgot about that. Okay, we do have our queue set up then, that looks good. And then over here, let's back this up. He's only at 30 feet. We're gonna do the same, and the only reason I'm gonna keep him also at 30 feet is just, since I know I'm not gonna be interacting with him, I might as well cluster all, as, as many as I can at the same level down there in case I have other more complicated shoestrings later at different heights, and I wanna do something different with it. So we're gonna leave him right where he is, and I think that'll be just fine. Okay. Ah, buh, 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 buh. Give ourselves another ride type here. There's our negative thirty. Hmm. 
go in this direction. Interesting the vandalism on the uh, the black um, lamppost there hits it so hard, takes the color out of it, turns back into the standard green ones. We do need some trash bins, it looks like. Oh, hey, letter from the sky. Welcome in. Thank you for following. Hope you're doing all right this evening. Okay. This and then... <clears throat> This is going to be my brakes. We have one more before we get out of range. So let's move this just slightly. We want it to be, we want this ride to sit within the, um, uh, within the realm of this four by four flat ride. So then the peeps don't go wandering elsewhere on it. I also don't want a station lift hill. Okay. So. Nine. Nine. Thirteen. Do it like that. Theoretically, this should split properly now. Oh. Forgot to reset the whole thing, so we need to select all the cars again. So, bobsleigh trains, let's go back down to zero here, or one, go up to 16. And the only reason I know this is because if you weren't here earlier, we went and looked at the, the one that I did in uh, another park. Um, and really, typically, this is just uh, a trial and error sort of deal. All right, that was clawing up the stairs. All right, back to it. Okay, so we want the tan in there, so we're going to do the black for the first one, since it's underground. And we'll go the red last time. One, two, three, four, five, and then we'll go to the purple. One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three. It'd be really nice if there was an easier way to do this. I will I will say I appreciate architects um recoloring ability um with the paintbrush and everything while things are moving. Um, that is a very nice kind of good way to handle recolor and just color selection and everything like that. Um, I think it's looking, looking quite nice. All right, why did it go away? That's weird. Let's bring him back. Okay. Has anybody had any bugs so far with new save format? I haven't. Uh, can't say I've experienced anything really, but I also haven't been going super, super hard on anything just yet. So I'm uh, sure that my, my time will come for some of those. So 
So I didn't have the other land types the other day, and I do have them now, which is interesting because I also don't have RCT1 installed uh, on this computer as far as I'm aware. Um, so I don't know if that's just an automatic thing now or, or what's going on. Um, I don't see the void type one here, but maybe I need to select that. All right, so let's go back and forth here and do a little bit more. Why did it get stuck? That's interesting. Aha, this one tried to go back out. They all tried to go back out. Cool. That's not what we want. All right, so we want Steel Wild Mouse one track. We want to swap them. And I want to do the same thing here. And I want to do the same thing here. Theoretically, that should fix it now. You joined this expecting architecture or ride. Surprise, this is a hacking stream now, and that's all we're doing. But hopefully we, we are almost done, and we've got it about solved. Okay. Let's see how this is going to roll out and if it works properly. Hopefully it does. <clears throat> While we're at it, we can go ahead and merge in all of these guys. Or not merge in, but um, rename. Okay, it did it again. That's interesting. Which one did it work on? I guess that guy. I wonder if it has to do with me having the station on there. Hmm. Be out of curiosity if I drop the station elsewhere if I'm still having the same troubles. Okay, so it's fully on the loop, which is what we, that's the first step. Okay, no, it's just the order of operations is incorrect. Click on this one. We need to take right, Steel Wild Mouse. think that should do it take a look yeah I, I reordered it once and I thought I had fixed it but I I think it was just the fact that I've also had the other one merged in there too I think is what screwed it up Control click an element now with tile. No. Well, that's convenient. All right. Here we go. Cool. So, any uh, 
Any name suggestions, feel free to drop it in the chat. So let's... I oh, look at that. That is cool. I love all these new shortcuts. I saw something about making station platforms invisible automatically, um, but I couldn't find it, and I'm guessing that that was just something that somebody said that isn't correct. Um, so I'm not quite sure where that one landed. Um, okay, let's rename this. So the first one is going to be Z Troika Circle. And this one will be Z Troika Split. Down here we'll call it. Z trick at control. Uh, the object selection. All right, I'm, I'm going to try this now. Um, We have the, the no option here. Is it in Tile Inspector? Oh, so like is it a separate ride now? Or oh, 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 I see, I see, I see. Look at that. Here's void. <laughs> wow, look at that. That's fun. I like that. Now I don't have to go invisible on the stations anymore. That's that's quite nice. Ah, oh, that's so, so nice. All right. Um, so first things first, we'll make this one invisible. The Crooked House. We'll make the split invisible. Crooked House. And then we'll make the uh, break a circle down below. Okay, there it is. Let's work a split control. Okay, so it doesn't work on the dummy or on coaster track. That's fine. I don't I don't mind that so much. Okay. So still need to figure out how fast we want to go with this. Ten seems about right. That I could if we need to adjust that just a little bit with the um, uh, with the object or the ride vehicle editor, we can always adjust the spacing just a little bit. Okay. Uh, water clear fix vandalism. And then the Troika itself, um, I think it's in 38, one of them. I lose it, there it is. Uh, 
connect this up. Open this up. Hey guys, how you James Gunn, how what's going on Mavericks? How you doing? Yeah, it's a good time. <laughs> Lazy Sunday afternoon streaming, it's a good time. All right, so we're gonna get rid of those. We're gonna get rid of the, we'll do unknown 38. Cause I think that doesn't drop it down. All right, so we need Salem appropriate names for the wooden coaster. We need a, a name for this Troika thing. And maybe for some of the, uh, the other stuff, but. How's the new house, man? How's it look? Construction going well? Inquisitor is not a bad idea. I do kind of like that. Okay. Of our five by five section here. Not too bad, although for those who aren't super versed in Salem history, it might be might do somebody proctor or whatever. Have to think through that a little bit. But I don't mind Inquisitor though. Well, maybe that's where we'll end up on that one. Okay. Seems like maybe the well ought to go somewhere in in here. We did talk about putting a planter on the back side of this, which I, st I think is maybe not a bad idea, just to keep it a little more open. Maybe the well goes kind of right here in the center, actually. rethink our planters a little bit. We've got a nice variety of space here. Just a matter of how do we want to get the thing in there. Okay. I kind of see the well going like right there. This should come down and be that. <laughs> it's gonna say go to bed. It's what time is it over there? Gotta be like past midnight, right? Or near midnight. Not like Thursday when you head off the next day. <laughs> All right, so it's not, not total, totally awful, but still, go to bed. <laughs> uh, well, it's not too bad. That's when you gotta get up for that. I have a seven o'clock alarm tomorrow morning, which is not not good. Sounds good, Backrack. Welcome or thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. They they're sort of flying. I need to put in the whole bit that that makes them not so all, all the you know technical bits of it um, i actually want to go take a screenshot of the other one so that i can more or less just copy it since it's i've already sorted out the overall shape of the thing so it should just be a matter of going back through and fixing that up so let's go to that one 
I'm oh, sorry you can't sleep. Which I got. All right, here we go. So this guy right here is what we're making. Little troika. So we have the awning pieces that wrap around, and then there's a center piece. There's a little motor in the center here, center column. The arms, which could maybe get a little bit thicker. And then we'll have our center, center column here, which we might want to look at readjusting a little bit. Hmm. I don't know where we want to go there. Okay. All right. Once I've done the ride once, it's always, I try and just copy it over, and I did not take a screenshot of it like I was going to. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Helped you build half of it. Between you, me, and uh, then everybody else from Kinos and Zara and the, the crew, but... You built it, I deleted it and rebuilt it, and then we made it happen. Alright, 24B. Come on. Okay. Now the easiest option here is going to be to pull up my screenshot. There you go. Now, a computer is much better for that. Okay. Now, let's begin. So, we want to take... And I will probably improve some things this, this go-around on this one. One, two, click. Needs to be at least three high. Um, okay, and then that's going to go on level two, it looks like. Oh. We started late for today because of the F1 race. We may not go super much longer than usual, though, just uh, based on the fact that I'm hungry and want to have dinner at some point. But I will finish this at the very least. Uh, would the path be better off with a seeding planter? Which path are you talking about? Uh, I started what an hour and like fifteen minutes. Usually, I'm I'm pretty much right at um, uh, two o'clock my time, and then I'll go through. Um, well, it depends, but usually I go through six. So typically five more minutes and I'm done. But we'll see. We'll see what else happens. Um, yeah, well, you guys, the the open space is gonna have something. We're not quite sure what all is going to end up there just yet, but uh, we had the planter in there, but I, I didn't quite like how it all sat. So what we'll probably end up doing is having some kind of a nice signature tree here in the center, um, and then maybe a smaller planter, do some seating wall around that. This will be a, um, a well. It here is sort of a thematic piece, photo op, perhaps. And then um, we'll have some of the buildings here. I kind of see this one as maybe more of a pavilion structure that is going to have a little 
food thing at the corner and then it's mostly just seating um this will be sort of the larger building i i haven't really found a a non-symmetrical um structure there yet as i've been looking at the various salem buildings because i kind of like some kind of a turret on the side or something to call that out a little bit but we'll see and then this guy will probably be a diagonal version of of something like this this is the gift shop after the ride so that becomes some kind of a a little piece here it's sort of a statement of what's going on here and then we need to come up with some sort of a not creepy but maybe like a foreboding entrance so maybe talking like um larger darker trees that have some overhang and things like that we'll see what what that becomes uh, i do like the train alongside here and then the road next to it so um we'll see where where that lands hey j flexies how are you doing this evening um mine coasters yeah you know it depends what kind you want to do so there's a lot of different varieties you can kind of do the standard arrow where you've got a lot of the lift hills like two or three lift hills even and um uh, kind of short sort of janky banking sections and things like that the vacoma ones are a little more streamlined uh, perhaps usually they're the double side-by-side -side lifts uh, you can also do the intimate ones which are a little more peppy have some some more aggressive corners and things there's only a few of them out there uh, gerslauer has built a few mine trains that are fun um and uh, sns even has done one as well so there's a lot of variety depending on what you want to do with it but we we may put one in this park i'm not quite sure where where we want to go about that yet so <clears throat> we'll see but and thanks for watching the reviews also i appreciate that um so makes the makes it worth uh worth the doing so uh thank you for for that for sure um the we had talked about to doing um for those who weren't here earlier belgian guy brought up doing a um zamperla oh shoot i don't remember what they're called um uh, clockworks uh here which i kind of the more that i think about it i wouldn't mind doing one um the problem is they're just really big in the game um let me pull up a photo of it Or actually maybe a video because it's it's cooler to watch uh okay all right so this is <clears throat> okay nebula is apparently what it's called So it's not the largest ride, although they do have larger ones, um, but it's four basically interconnected arms rotating around with um, four backward facing seats. Um, <clears throat> and it's one of those rides that it, it's probably more fun to look at than it is to ride. I mean, I, I've ridden one. Uh, but it's one of those that it's it's not super super thrilling but it is surprisingly fun uh and it but it's, it's just really cool to watch off ride from a park standpoint i don't know if i'd consider buying one because like a ferris wheel it's a multi-stage load process you can see now that they're bringing it down you'll have to load all four of the lower seats then rotate it halfway and then load all four of the upper seats so somewhat of a frustration there i would think from an operator standpoint because that'll extend your dispatch times but um not to say that um you couldn't do that uh, okay so what you said flat rides at alton uh all right alton towers mixtape ride okay okay so that's a jump um what is that called it's uh Rototechno Sartori. Uh, so those are fun. I do like those quite a lot. Um, and then um, 
Yeah, this is a Roto Techno by Sartori, and then uh, yeah, Smashing Jump by Sartori. You're right. Uh, they they are a fun ride. Um, I do I do like those quite a bit. Um, I think this is when we get to the well. This is what we're gonna gonna do. And what we might actually do that I'm kind of liking is uh, the the sort of like brick brick pathway here is we might kind of set that up and build over top of it so it looks like the brick is sort of wearing away. So we could always do set up like this. I'll uh, have to see if we can find some colored brick options. I thought we had colored brick options, but I did not. Actually, let me change these real quick just to make sure that we're... Okay. Um, object. Colorable brick path. Yeah, the bonsai flat rides are good too. Flat rides were never something that I was super, super into, but the more that I've kind of gotten on uh, going to parks and everything else, it's the more I'm trying to seek out some of the more interesting ones. That. Let's see what else opportunity or we could do. Both that gray and gray leaves a little bit darker as far as this goes, but give this a whirl just to see what it looks like. I'm not opposed to an Intamin bobsled. I, I did think about doing a bobsled at one point. I just need to figure out how to make it fit the theme. Um, but yeah, bobsleds are great. I love, uh, love a good bobsled coaster. Intamin one will be interesting because basically we're doing a recreation at that point because there aren't, uh, there weren't many custom varieties of those. Mine train through a forested area and utilizes deep drop. So that's an option. Certainly something we can do here at at some point. As we start to figure out what the the best thoughts are for next coaster. Um Yeah, I mean certainly Intamin becomes is one of my more favorite manufacturers, I would say. Um, but um, the I, I like other manufacturers too. I mean, certainly B and M is going to make your make you more reliable stuff. Um, Mock is going to give you pretty consistent stuff, and I I do like Mock rides quite a bit. Um, and uh, I mean, there's there's certainly a lot of a lot of other different or other options, but Intamin certainly consistently provides excellent coasters. Um, <clears throat> RMC is okay. I just they they're kind of become all the same, and they're not also very comfortable in a lot of cases. So RMC definitely gets an honorable mention, but um, you know it's B and M is there. Um, and to about the theme on this one that was asked a minute ago. Um, 
Yes, it's colonial America themed more or less. Um, so we've kind of got a somewhat of a theme going on, but we haven't really um, developed it too, too far. So right now we're just sort of working on some, some different kind of lightly themed areas. So this one is Salem. Um, we're going to have a harbor area like a Boston harbor. Uh, we're going to have a um, couple other areas in here. And, um, and and that's that's about that's about it. So still developing it out, um, but it should be all right. It should be pretty cool. I kind of want all these guests gone because I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, bye. I do like bobsled coasters. Honestly, bobsleds are, are probably one of my guilty pleasure type rides that I will rate higher than other rides simply just because they're a lot of fun. So I am all on board for bobsled options. Um, oh. I had to sit in the train for 20 minutes while someone was unwell. Oh no. Uh, yeah, at least the bobsleds are typically pretty comfortable. Uh, I can think of a lot of other ones that I would not want to be sitting in. Mm. That's one uh, I know this exists. This is another one of those pieces that like I know exists, but I just don't know where to find it. Basically, I want this thin quarter curved just in brick. There it is. For a curve break. And AVL crushed it with the objects. I don't even know who is AVL. Is that. Do we know him on New Element? Or is that. Where, where did he come from? Since I never know who, who has the certain. Oh, oh Arjun, okay. He's certainly doing good with the objects between you and him and Josh and everybody. Now I just need to figure out where it where it went. And it's not this guy. That's the chunky one. Okay, it's not there. Not there. There. There or there or there. There. This is going to be a trim piece. Second tab, second tab. I'm not seeing it. Third tab. Third tab. There it is. Found it. Uh, all right. <clears throat> no worries. And got some sort of a little wood covering over top of it. You're fine. No, no worries. Uh, yeah, actually, they would be. Uh, have I selected them yet? You mean his RS ones, these guys? Yeah, that's a good thought. Is it? It's interesting uh, too, just seeing what a nicely made object will do for it because I was never a huge fan of the RS roofs until these objects. Much. There we go. Looks pretty good. 
And now I now I can get behind it. I can kind of see where the see where these can be useful. Okay, well that screwed everything up. Um, I need this one. There we go. So much fun perspective. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I am too. You know, it's one of those things where. I feel like I'm constantly impressed by what people can build, and I look at it and say, "Man, I never would have, never in a thousand years would I have thought about that." But it's it's just one of those that I guess after a little while, it's you just keep enjoying being impressed. I love watching the community build. I figured I had at least a little bit to offer as far as um, knowledge of things goes and talking about real life coasters, so why not? So that's where I'm here. That's why I'm here, I guess. <laughs> Maybe a little more than a little, perhaps. Speaking of, there's my YouTube channel. If you haven't just followed it, uh, take a look. We have reviews and tutorials and all that. Uh, speaking of, it's probably about time for a new hacking tutorial. So those should be hopefully coming soon. I just got to record it. I've got the next, uh, only one, I guess, built right now, but I'm close to getting a second one ready. Potentially, um, a great may not be a bad idea. Is there a, um, does anybody make a curved rail or curved mesh? <laughs> not like I don't do this for a living sometimes. So I'm not totally thrilled with the way that this brick is coming out, um, but I will probably redo that at some point here. Either making the rest of the, the pathway that lighter colored, like is underneath the um, the troika there, or um, kind of reworking that so that the whole thing ends up uh, sitting uh, a little a little better so it blends. All right, Jeez, so many objects. That's actually some nice, nice options there. I should have a count at the end about how many objects I added to the. Okay, so here's this fence. Use that one. We can use that one. That one already. Mm -hmm. Oh sure, yeah, I work at uh, SeaWorld Orlando and uh, I'm responsible for SeaWorld Discovery Cove and Aquatica's uh, new construction. And new, um, well, I guess new attractions and new uh, infrastructure restaurants, gift shops, things like that. And as I've said on a number of channels before, if anybody is interested in the industry or wants to learn more information about, you know, how I got to this point or how to go um, um, 
how to kind of start your journey into the theme park industry, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'm available on Discord PMs, um, and feel free to uh, let me know, and uh, I will be happy to go into it a little further with you. Maverick, you just need to get your job back at Universal. You bugging anybody from Epic to come get you? Well, you need to come on back down now that uh, Epic is going or in the process of going. You need to come on back. Okay, and then we can maybe cluster this together so it looks like a thing. Oh, all of this, that's a nice company. All right, so there's our. Um, a little option here for <clears throat> yeah we have uh quite a few roller coasters um less so on the flat ride front but uh definitely coasters are pretty substantial hmm Still have the best lineup in Orlando. It just happens that we don't have the best coaster anymore. Hot take. <laughs> but but yes. Veloc coaster is indeed the best coaster in Orlando, but I would disagree that or I would say that SeaWorld has a stronger lineup overall than um Universal does. <clears throat> well, hopefully one time you can come on over and have a look. Hmm. I'm trying to I'm I'm looking at this brickwork and just I'm not being pleased with it. So the reason being is that I've got the the red brick here. And the red brick over here, have the nice wood texture here. I like the idea of um, this coming off and then um, just in a, a less in your face texture. Like if I could get something that nearly matched this that was just slightly faded, I'd be a lot happier. Heck yeah, big bro's troll and whirl. It's a fun ride. <laughs> Uh, actually, the uh, Abbey's uh, Flower Tower Tower something, I don't know. Uh, that one's fun. I do enjoy that one. <laughs> That's funny. Thanks, Automod, for uh, screening that could try gray colored crazy paving. Yes, yes, I could. <laughs> and we'll, we'll start with that. Um... <laughs> Uh, all right, so let's try the no, because he said colored it, uh, it flagged it for potential race. So, you know, there's that. Uh, okay. I don't dislike this as an option. Uh, the problem, it's going to take a little bit more time. I, I think we might need to try some different ones. Um, I am thinking the the darker brick potentially could be an option. At least it, it's going to make it feel a little more foreboding, I guess. Um, here. Uh, Jingle Bell Dog over here. That's getting picked up. Yes, you do hear Lily. <laughs> She's uh, itchy, apparently.
All right. Actually, that looks really nice. I like the, the darker brick, although now the trim piece probably needs to get adjusted to something else, probably brown. Maybe not darker brown? <laughs> the dog cam. So I actually, I am, I'm working on improving this setup here. Um, and one of those things is a uh, new slash better webcam. And if we do that, we will have a dog cam or a cat cam or whoever decides to come in and sit with me cam. Uh, so stay tuned into the new year and uh, maybe we'll work on that. So trying to improve the, the setup. Yeah, Mako is great. Mako is uh, one of my favorites uh, as far as posters go, and uh, it's definitely held up well. Uh, it is probably my favorite uh, one. <laughs> Wife cam. That's funny. Dear Jimmy, said you should be on camera. <laughs> there you go. I'm sure, you heard that. Jimmy. Oh. I'm better, Jimmy. <laughs> she says you know better. I'll come down and visit again. We'll have Jimmy Cam. Which one of these is giving supports? Oh, interesting. Okay, we'll get rid of that. It's funny, the very first, um, very first RCT review that we did on the YouTube channel was because I didn't have the setup was just you and me sitting next to each other. <laughs> and, uh, that was that was a lot easier when you were hanging out here during COVID. It was a good time. Yes, we do. Um, just trying to. Uh, Figure out all three time zones there is a little bit of a challenge. Um, and with BG's kids and everything else, trying to find a time that works for everybody. But we do still need to do it, though. Um, I would like to talk about your parks. All right. So we're going for the darker here. Um, I don't know what you guys think, but I, I do kind of like the look. It's definitely a little more textured than before, um, but for here, for sure, the darkness is, is nice, um, but, you know. No. So we'll, we'll still play around with this one. So I guess the, the question ends up being, and this is for anybody to answer or suggest is do you think we ought to do the darker brick underneath the troika over here um it's definitely going to change the overall look of um uh it's going to change the overall look of, of kind of what the space looks like but it may not be a bad idea I, i'm a little wary about doing a secondary thing like we could do this brick underneath there and no, I don't want to do wood because that doesn't make any sense. Um, but the the brick does make sense. Um, okay. Well, we should get back in here and do these guys. We need to find.
Hmm. Trying to figure out some good options for what we can do here. Force definitely knows this stuff. Um, and I don't necessarily suggest that the only reason that I know um, my uh, my stuff is because I work in the industry. Mostly, I just also spent a heck of a lot of time when I was younger studying poster database and just all sorts of other things. So um, I can confidently tell you about something about every coaster in the world. Um, which is a good or a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. If you're not interested, then it's probably not so much fun. All right. How did, where did that one sit? I'm trying to figure out what kind of, um, structure of colors we ought to do for this thing. There you go. Wikipedia and Q lines. That's the way to learn. Let's see what sounds interesting and look it up. Oh, surely you must be higher than 30. Really? Really? I would have thought you're, uh, you've ridden some more beyond that. Once the kids get a little bit older, you go around, right? Yes, we do need a height stick on this one. Um, let's see, all green. Let's call this one. Accompanied. And then. Green, green. We'll get that Christmas tree. Uh, well, you have to go to, to, to Overland and some of those other ones, for sure. I picked up what, what I'm guessing is my last one for the year at IAPA um, the other week when we uh, we did um, uh, when I did the little figure eight spinner, because, of course, have to while we're there. It's always a little strange riding the kids' coaster in a business suit, but that's part of it. I think I want to do this structure as um, something. I just don't quite know what. That's all. <laughs> Justification time. I think that was Coco. And the. Uh, I can't remember what he called it, but it was funny. Uh, I think I need to go the one higher, perhaps, on this. Let's get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. What is the strange... <laughs> Letter from this guy. What is the strangest coaster you've ridden, not just in a business suit? Um... <laughs> There's a lot of different stuff. Um, the the SNS Screaming Squirrel is probably the uh, maybe my most strange. Um, oh, you did Vertigo. Well, that's that's definitely a rare one. 
Um, so this is the SNS Screaming Squirrel. This is the one that I rode, the one that's in uh, China. Um, there's two of these. Well, there was sort of a third intermediate one in Russia, but that's gone now. Um, this uh, this is every bit as awful as it looks. So the idea is basically it's a wild mouse on its side. So you go up along the pop the top, and then you go upside down across the whole thing. So apparently Gardalands is better, and I've been told that <clears throat> I need to go ride that one, but I would say this is probably um, one of the worst coasters I've ever ridden. Um, it was pretty horrendous. Um, there was just a lot of very kind of odd, odd bits and pieces to it. So um, that one probably falls into the... the Strange, strangest one, I guess I would say. 25, not too bad. 25 coasters is a good start there, especially since you're just kind of getting into it. <clears throat> All right, what's your worst one? What, uh, what were you not a fan of? Let's try it. This maybe? Goderix. Uh, okay. And the big one at Blackpool. All right. <clears throat> so, what, uh, what was not a, or you not a fan of on Big One? That one I have not ridden yet. <clears throat> um, I did not mind Goderix actually. And it, it's kind of an odd, an odd thing because I expected to think it was going to be absolutely terrible. But, um, I, uh, I, I had an okay time on it, and I didn't, <laughs> I didn't expect to, but it was, ran okay. Yeah, that, that's sort of the thing that always struck me about Big One, is that it's, it's such an interesting ride that they spent so much money making such a big iconic ride for Blackpool and you know it has this huge hill and the just the iconic just run along the front uh roadway there and yet the whole thing has just such ramped hills and there's just not really a whole lot of airtime in it some slow corners and some things like that which is just so odd because they went and saw Magnum XL 200 at Cedar Point and they said this is what we want and they got something that was not at all like that. So it's just such an odd, odd choice, in, in my opinion. But I don't know. Um, this is sort of a, a strange ride. So I'm excited to ride it next year. I hope to ride it. Um, because I've been trying to get all of the Arrow Hyper Coasters. Um, which I need to... Uh, Reopen, or I need to hope that Desperado is going to reopen, so we'll see. Oh, Conda, yeah, Conda, and then Ride to Happiness. That'll be a really good one. I'm, I'm very excited to see what you think of Ride to Happiness, because it looks excellent. It looks really, really, really good. Okay, so we need... Um... We need to do this. So I, I have yet to go out and ride um, uh, Time Traveler, which I know uh, Mavericks has. Oh, I did see that I kind of swapping out a, a car, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, so I'm pretty interesting to um, get a ride on that one. Okay. So we will put this as a fully enclosed booth, I think. For no other reason than it's probably a little bit easier to put together. Where is my... here it is. Yeah, they definitely uh, pushed the limit on airtime for that one. 
uh, I'm friends with the layout designer for uh, Conda, and uh, it was definitely one of the ones he was very proud of. So we'll do it like this. Is it for um, for your time traveler, James? Is it, is it really a matter of um, it spins too much, or what's the what's the trouble with it? Because I, I yes, it seems like it kind of varies as far as how much it's spinning. Um, so I'm. I don't really know how strong it is. Because I'm getting to the point where some spinning flat rides are maybe a little bit much if I'm doing it a couple times in a row, but I'm still not there on coasters yet. Yeah, that's right, Silver Dollar City. Can I find glass? Uh, where is my glass? On the stream, are you still here? Where's your class? There it is. Found it. All good. Put a little bit of a little bit of flare on this hut. Also give it a <laughs> really a swinging ship will do that. Is that's that's interesting that it doesn't take more than that to to get you feeling a little gross because um, I do like a good swinging ship. And I like a good spinning ride as well. I don't mind the upside down so much. Oh, the Harley Quinn Insanity, because that's the um, that's their um, oh shoot, the um, Zamperla Frisbee, right? I will say those those tend to rotate a. Is it the Trevelyan? I thought that was something different. I thought the, um, I thought it was the, uh, their swing ride. Because the Trevelyan is, is wild, uh, looking, although I, I felt it kind of boring. But <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, it's getting late for you. Go get some rest. Enjoy your day tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, maybe that is Trevelyan then, because um, that one didn't really bother me so much in just the fact that the ride itself was just kind of poor, um, because it was so short. See you later, Belgian guy. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you can get some rest. I know uh, it hasn't been such a good, uh, good time for that recently, but uh, good luck. All right. Let's continue along here as we're trying to get this. We'll try and wrap up kind of this ride here, get this squared away. Um, where are my guests? Are we? Oh, we're paused. That's why. I feel like this one, the stream went pretty well today as far as just we didn't exactly accomplish a ton, but we, we accomplished enough that. Um, Thought it was. Hang on, it was invisible. That's so cool. I do like the uh, ability to do all those sorts of things. That's always the risk you take with the with. Um, Op rides that are operated uh, by a uh, or manually operated rides because they can 
sometimes come back to bite you a little bit, and it can be a little rough. I am fully aware that at some point it will probably catch up to me, my ability to do flat rides, but until then I'm going to do my best to make the most of them. And it looks like a pagoda type entrance. It's not. Not necessarily the best look. Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, at some point you kind of have to stop and, and say, okay, I'm going to wait for just a minute, sit down, rest, take my time, and then maybe get back to it. Um, I will totally understand you there. I think there's a gate on the picket fences, which apparently we have somewhere. Centered. Okay. Odd to me that no one has made a quarter tile version of this yet. We'll go ahead and put these in as I think I will make this as part of the ride restricted area. And then <clears throat> <laughs> Yet. Also, what are you still doing awake? Shouldn't you be asleep? <laughs> Alright, so we'll have the gate there. That's exit. Um... <laughs> oh, very nice. Well, then I will look forward to seeing that. Actually, we'll probably put it right to use. Okay. I want to. I don't think I want to put a um, yellow line there. I think that's going to be a little much. We didn't actually ever figure out what the ground texture underneath of this ride is. Do we want it to be a. Um, do we want to do the darker brick? Do we want to do the kind of like mulch? Or keep it like it is? Well, that's nice that you get a week off at least before the before the start. That's kind of nice. We can do this. Which actually might show up quite nicely up against this... Uh, and wall. Our queue will then be a little bit brighter, which is maybe not what we want, but but you just mean drop it down. That probably would be easier. I never make enough use of the cutaways as I probably ought to. It was quite a lot faster. Okay. 
Um, we're going to say here and here. And then actually do yeah I'm, I'm kind of a fan of how that's turning out the centered here we go ah <laughs> I need that, uh, I need that quarter tile one. All right, pick it. Get rid of that. We'll see about the diagonal later. Um, but what I think I'd like to do is keep, um, this set up because we want to have a, ooh, early access, all right. Our little bin here. So one of the things that I'd I'd like to have, um, link stream. Maybe this is something you're interested in. Um, is like little object bins for loose articles for flat rides. So you know, a lot of flat rides in real life have bins either along the edges or like at the ride exit where you can sit your stuff in, either as shelves or as like little drop-in bins. And I've never been able to find a good enough um, uh, a good enough object for that. And I don't know, it feels like there there ought to be something out there for it, kind of like the t-shirt you did for us on uh, um, uh, in, in uh, Nippon, where it never really had anything for that, and it feels like there always should have been something for it. Yeah, it just feels like there ought to be some kind of like a custom, a, a purpose-built piece for that sort of thing. <clears throat> yeah, and, and now that there's the ability to select more things, um, we can kind of go that way. All right, let's jump across here and see what this is while I save and restart the game. Get in that object. Ligliostro. I thought this one was an odd one just because it's a big spinning coaster, but it's in this like gigantic building and it just seems like it uses the space so terribly. Like there's really no good inch or there's no real theming to take up the rest of the space. I mean, there's some lights and some other things like that, but it just uses the space so poorly. And in order to get the height, they dug way down and that there's still this lift at the beginning and then the lift at the end. I just, I never really understood this one. It was sort of the, the forgotten SC3000, but um, I don't know. This, this is an odd one to me. The layout can be kind of cool. I just, I just don't get it. I don't get what else is supposed to be in there. It just seems like such a massive building for, for nothing. But anyway, I'm back to it. Uh, if you, uh, do that object, then I'd be very happy to see how that shapes up. Oh, look at that quarter picket fence. Early access. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, fence. 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 Does it come here? Okay. Okay. Go well, that way, and then I guess for now it's probably easiest just to use these pieces for shells. There we go. And then we'll have this kind of little space back here will be the secondary dispatch.
this green on top. Can't really even see it, but that's all right. Okay, so I do still need to figure out what the uh, actual frame of this uh, this trick is going to get colored because I, I didn't really intend it to stay black. Um, I guess I probably need to figure out what the theme is first. Um, but, I don't know. It's sort of an odd odd theme. Well, so ritual may not be a bad idea. It's sort of an odd theme, I guess, when you consider that, like, it is a historical event where legitimate people did die, and then we're going to make a theme park out of it where you're riding fun stuff and having a good time and all that, but I guess that's always the conundrum with, you know, theming in general, as far as <clears throat> that goes, but um, I do like ritual as a name. Start there with that one, so maybe they'll get recolored. I do kind of like the green on there, but we'll see if that sticks around. Let's also paint on some other stuff here. So we're gonna start to wrap up. We're gonna go till seven o'clock, and then I need to stop. But or then finish up what we can here. Comes out pretty all right. Then as far as raw theming goes, how did that tree end up gray? Oh, purple, right? Our option. Purple. This one. Oh, this is gray. Really, that didn't mean to be gray. Maybe it was yellow? Orange? Orange looks better. Theoretically, that could be like a fruit tree or something. Okay. Uh, we do want some... Thicker landscape in here, perhaps. Worry about the object limit, so spam away. Okay. Okay, and we did say that this was going to get a, um, kind of a little transformer back here for the ride so probably a compress compressor would be my best guess of what we will be putting back here so let's there's still something interesting how close those colors are together My my lack of understanding of how to do palettes tells me that those probably can't be changed, but there is something close enough to them that would be kind of nice if it was possible to change it up a little bit. But let's stick with it. And do we have the control panel? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Since you were about losing parks to some format breaking bug discovered before the new saves. I, I'm not so worried about it. Um, it. I think that it's been out there for a little while now, tested enough that um, I'm not, I'm thinking we're probably going to be okay. Um, that's not to say that, um, that's not to say that it could potentially happen, but, um, ooh, I love that small ride control panel. Um, <clears throat> I think it's, it's one of those risks that I'm willing to take. Oh, well, that didn't go too well. But I do think that the amount of the amount of testing and commissioning that they've done on this um, this format so far is is pretty strong to the point that I I reasonably trust that if we do find something we do find things that it will be relatively okay. I don't see there's anything entirely breaking about it yet. But the only I think potential annoyance is going to be for folks who haven't made the jump over trying to view these parks and then realizing they can't view the parks and then trying to figure out how to do it. So it, it the one downside is for the casual RCT player who isn't necessarily part of any of the communities, uh, it, it could potentially become a challenge for them to really understand how, how the whole thing works and um, how to actually get to those points. So... I hope that there's going to be enough people there to help help out those folks um, to that point. But yeah, I, I think we should be good, you know, in general. Okay, so this is still a ride restricted area, or what would be a ride restricted area theoretically. So we should come back through and at least put up some fencing. So we started the episode today by placing a couple of these lamps, and that's how we're going to finish today. So let's drop down just a few, a few lamps to get this just right, and then call it a day. Okay. I also open this up for our guests. <clears throat> All right, so what did we do today? We built a bandstand, we built a restroom building, and we built this uh, little ride here, which is somewhat kind of insane the fact that we got a total of only those things done in three hours and 41 minutes. But hopefully, you all had a good time. All right, so let's save this real quick we get this out um, I will upload the stream archive I didn't actually do that for the last one so I need to do that too um, and put the download link in if anybody would like to take this and play on with the uh, on their own um, if you haven't followed my YouTube channel feel free to go take a look at that it's where I post all of these uh, bits of, of stuff um, and yeah I think the corner is uh, turning out pretty well we're making some good improvements I think it's smoothing smoothing out just a little bit and maybe maybe next time we can actually finish the thing i was really actually hoping to get over here today and build a splash battle and some other stuff but it actually gives me a little bit of time to plan this better because i was a little panicking earlier that i hadn't planned any of this so we're we're getting a little better i might do some off stream but i will try and record it if i do um and see what um <clears throat> what that works or what happens there oh the people are walking through the well like um at uh, the ring. 
Cool. We'll, we'll fix that, among other things, for the next time. Um, my intention is to stream next weekend as well, and actually the following weekend after that, basically run up to Christmas since we'll have probably at least one weekend off, probably just one weekend off for Christmas. But um, our we're, we're actually, I have schedules now, which is exciting. I didn't used to have schedules. So streaming days are Thursday for Parkitect and either Saturday or Sunday for RCT. Um, hopefully next week it's Saturday, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, and then my upload days for YouTube are Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Um, so we will check those out. Today's upload was the uh, time lapse of completing the third campaign park in Parkitect. But uh, we'll be back for a an RCT2 something or another on Tuesday. I'm not quite sure what that is yet. But uh, go check it out over there on YouTube. Uh, if you like what's going on here on Twitch, subscribe uh, or follow so you can get the notifications when I go live. And if you really feel like uh, helping out, feel free to subscribe to the channel here. Um, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can do that for free. So, um, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching, as always. and. Uh, we will catch you in the next one, so uh, talk to you later. Bye now.